Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to make a coming soon page. If you've got your site under construction and you want to build it and you don't want people to sort of see the back end and the pages you're building, it's a great idea to make a coming soon page. And Divi makes that really easy for you. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and hit new and we'll start a new page. We'll start from scratch. And here's the important thing. When we go to new page, instead of doing what we usually do is enable the builder, we want to go over to the default template over here. It may be closed up. If so, just hit the little chevron to open the template there and switch from default template to blank page. That way, if you've created a menu, it won't show up at the top and people won't be able to navigate to any pages you've created already. So we've got a blank page, that's great. Let's give our page a name. And now we can hit the Use Divi Builder. Okay, and we'll build from scratch. And I'm gonna put a single column, single row in there. All right, before I actually put a model in there. I want to give our page a background here. So let's close this up. And I'm going to go into the section, blue tab for a section, green for a row, dark button to add a module. So I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go down to background. I'm actually going to add a color. Let's put a blue in. And I'm also going to add an image. Yeah, let's pop that one in. For a full page image, I'd, I'd recommend anything about 1920 wide and larger. You don't want it to be too large, so it takes a long time to load. But anything from 1920 up should be OK. And there's our little image. You may say, well, what was the point of putting a color in? Well, if we go down here, as long as we haven't got parallax selected there, we can blend the image and the color together. I'm going to use multiply because it works for me, but there's all kind of different blend modes here and you can get some fantastic effects going on by selecting a few of them but for me for this today multiply is going to work fine but do have a play select what you need great so there's our little background and we'll be coming back to the section later on to make it the size we want so let's start adding modules well i'm going to hit this little dark button to add a new module and for this today i'm going to use a blurb simply so I can put an image and a bit of writing in there as well. And it's got that sort of mixed in with the blurb module. So let's say something like new site coming soon. And obviously put in what you want to say down below. Let's take a little bit of this away. It's probably too much for my needs. I haven't got anything real to say. Obviously you could talk about your business here. And we can see it there, but it's not very clear. We'll change that in a moment. And for the image, I'm simply going to put in my logo. So down below, we've got image here. And let's put in a white logo that's going to stand out nicely against that darker background. Fantastic. OK. Well, I don't particularly want to link on anything in here. If you do, you can put links in here. And as always, best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK, well, let's move over to our design tab now and make that writing legible. We'll go down to the text. I want to put mine in the middle, so I'm going to line it all to the center there. I'm just going to make it light so we can see it. You can color the title and description text differently if you want to. So let's go down to title text. I'm going to make that a lot bigger. So I'm going to make it bold. Now Divi comes with an awful lot of fonts if you want to audition them just put your mouse over one it'll give you an example of the font that you've got there i'm going to use the default for mine today but i will make it capital and i will make it quite a lot bigger than that and the reason it's breaking when it gets to that size the blurb is only actually taking up about 60 or 70 percent of our row if you want to make it bigger we can do that in the spacing so if we go down to design Sorry, sizing, not spacing, sizing. Content width at the moment is 550. You can ramp it up to whatever size you want. But 550 is good enough for me today. And as with most modules with Divi, if you've done something, don't like what you've done, 
delete it, it'll go back to the default for you. OK, well, let's go back to our title. Another way of getting to the title edit is hitting the little blue pencil icon here, or the white pencil in the blue circle. It'll take you right to what you want to edit there. So let's perhaps make this blue and a bit bigger. And a little lighter blue than that, perhaps. So it stands out nicely. And I think that's probably going to do it. OK, so after this, let's have a little countdown timer to when we're going to launch our site. So let's save our blurb module there and we'll add a new module. Here it is. And if we go down, we've got a countdown right there. We'll pop that in. And for the title, let's put something like grand launch in. And we can set our time. And simply select the date that you want here, obviously. I'm going to leave mine just like that. You can set an hour and a minute if you set this up here, the hours obviously go from zero all the way up to 23. So if we want it at nine, let's put it at zero nine and the minutes go from zero nine o'clock to 59. So I want mine at nine. Well, let's say 930 on that day. There we go. Now I don't want any background. I'm quite happy with those letters and everything to be as they are, but on our regular background. So if we go down, there's the background default background that's in there. Let's just hit the little trash can. We can get rid of it. Great. And as with the blur module, if you want to change fonts and things like that, you can style everything individually here. You've got your title text, numbers text, separated text. And as I'm going over, you can see the little blue boxes going to the things that pertains to the one I'm rolling over. So title, you see it there, numbers, separator, labels. And of course, you can do spacing, borders and box shadows if you need to. And we've covered these things in other videos. OK, well, it's getting there. Perhaps you'd like people to be emailed when it launched. So let's add, we'll say this, and let's add a little contact form. And if I roll down here, here's a contact form. And I'm going to get rid of the message. I don't want a message from anybody. I just want to be able to take their name and their email. So I'm going to get rid of the message field. We will give it a title, so keep me informed or whatever it is you want to say. It's there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Now, the success message is what happens when they submit the button there. So we'll say, or whatever it is you want to say. And submit button, that's fine. I'm going to leave mine just on submit like that. Obviously, you can put what you want in there if you want to change that. Now, the important bit, obviously, is the email, the email that this gets sent to. So you put me at my email or whatever email address you want it sent to in there. And that's pretty much all we need to do. I'm going to make that a little bit skinnier. I'm going to make our title so we can see it. So to do that, let's go over to our design here. I'm going to go down to sizing. I don't want it to be as wide, so I'm going to drag it down. As you can see, it's shrinking. Get it to the size you want, because we only want them to be able to put their name and email. It doesn't have to be too wide in there. That's fine. But I do want it to be in the middle of our row. So I'm going to hit middle of the line there. And our title, let's hit the little button there. Let's make that white so we can see it. And let's pop them in the middle. And why don't we make it uppercase as well? There we go. So obviously add whatever else you want, but it's best to keep it quite simple. We could even make that a bit bigger if you wanted to. Let's go back in there. And our little coming soon. We'll go in there. Design. It's our numbers text. Drag it up a little bit in size, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That works for me. Great. So we're pretty much good to go here. The only other thing that I really want to do, our capture text down here is barely visible. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they can't submit the form unless they do this sum, 13 plus 14, and it changes each time the page loads. So let's go in there and we'll edit that little capture text. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush again. Let's make it white so they can see it. Okay. So let's save that. 
Now to finish off, I really want this to cover the whole of the page and whatever device they're looking at it on, whether it be mobile, phone, tablet or desktop, I want them to fill out the page. So let's go back into our section, the blue tab here. We'll go over to design and we'll go to sizing on this one. And for the height here, I'm going to put in 100 VH for viewable height. So that means whatever device they're viewing on it, it'll be 100% of the height of that device. So let's put in 100 VH. As you can see, it's filled out the page. And as I mentioned, on a mobile or a tablet, it'll look the same. And if you want to check it, let's just save this. Simply hit the little purple button and we've got desktop, we've got tablet version, works for me, and we've got mobile version. For the mobile version, you see the numbers have gone crazy there. So we're going to need to take those down. Let's have a look at the tablet version. Yeah, we could probably take them down for the tablet version as well because they're sort of overlapping each other. So let's go to our regular version here. I'm going to go back into this module. I'm going to go to my numbers here. And we can set different size for tablet and mobile. So just simply hover over whatever it is you want to affect. In our case, it's the numbers text here. And this is common to most Divi modules. Go over to the little cell phone type icon here. And let's say for desktop, we're happy with the way it is. For tablet mode, let's take it down so it's more legible. Something like that. And then for phone mode, we'll take it down a little bit more. There we go. So it's all perfectly readable there. And you can do this to any module and text and anything. It's a great feature to be able to do different versions for tablet and mobile. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just save our changes and it'll go back to desktop version. We'll publish the page because we're going to want to set this as the front page of our site. And let's exit the Visual Builder. OK, looks fine to me. Now to make this the front page of our site, what we need to do is go to our dashboard. So if I visit the site right now, it's going to take us to our regular page that we've been doing all these other demos on. So to make the coming soon page the home page, we need to go down to Appearance, Customize. That'll take us to this page here. Go down to Home Page Settings. Make sure the little radio button is set to a static page and not the posts. And then we can choose our coming soon page. There it is. Looks like I put three, three O's in there. Coming soon page. OK, and then publish when you're ready. Now, if we go back to our dashboard and visit the site, it's our coming soon page. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a coming soon page with a fantastic Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.